Hey everybody, I just got off work and so I thought I might go back to work in this game. I'm just not gonna try to be funny. <laughs> I'm done. Forget it. I'm done. So we were in the Undercity, Underworld? Undercity. And we had just beaten all the Lone Sharks and we were supposed to do what? Oh, I know. We're supposed to go back. Actually, no, I'm supposed to go back. I think I'm supposed to go back to the rebel hideout. Uh, I don't really remember. Oh, here we go. All right, the guy. I hope you're ready for the shit storm that's about to strike. You're going to have to fight through the facility and get to the helicarrier in the back. Hijack... It, oh, hijack it and get it flying the frig out of here. Why did he say shit, but not... Never mind. <laughs> we'll meet up with you on the other side of the post office. That's cool. Sure. Okay. Do, 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 do. Hey, man, what's up? I said my package wasn't big enough. I'm not, I'm not fit to be male, man. That's a weird joke okay where's where's everywhere wow i have a lot of money awesome all right well let's see let's get a better tie did i give him oh i already yeah i already took care of him okay so then hold on here so we need some coffee like a bajillion cups of coffee how about it's like three and then let's buy a bunch of tasty sandwiches and then I could do speed and steroids, but I believe that winners do not do drugs. And I already have some steroids, so I think I'm good on that front. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Put my suit jacket over my incredibly bare chest. There we go, bulletproof tie. I have a paper hat. I don't, did I, I not ever find any other hats? It's very interesting. All right, cool. Yeah, we're not fighting any more of these guys. It's gonna mend. I'm gonna get woefully unleveled later, but I just can't handle it. But a mail order bride. Thanks, Vladimir Putin. Jeez. That's a that joke hits a little close to real life. Stop attacking me. Well, isn't this a crate? Oh no, well, isn't this crate? Well, okay. Dell Ever. It's a great place to be. Stop. It's a used car shop and it's full of bicycles. My name is Bill E. Good to meet you. I used to sell used cars for huge deals. Sadly, there are no more roads. Now I sell used bikes for moderately large deals. Okay. Good to meet you. Oh, okay. He's just saying me, telling me the same joke again. He's stuck. Okay. <laughs> he was in a. He was stuck in a loop. Caroline. Caroline. There's a bunch of Carolines. I bet. Caroline. Why are there so many Carolines? Caroline. All right. Billy bike. The deal on this bike is massive. Well, that was pointless. And oh, thank you. There's nothing over there. I guess we're going in the door. We need to get the post office proper. Please stop. I need some repels. Hey, you know what? I should save. There we go. All right. Ishmael, love getting my hands on all these interesting packages. They're going to get as much mileage out of that joke as they can, aren't they? Cendric, looking for work? Deliver this package to Bill E. He lives on the west of the building. All right. Luckily, I literally was just there, so I know exactly where to go. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the package. Unfortunately, it isn't huge enough. It's gotta be huge. Oh my gosh. Um, attack. Let's just 
keep the strategy that works for us so far. We'll just use that uh, that paralysis, man. It does a good job. Oh, oh, oh. Billy the Huge. Is this like a Billy Mays joke? Let's out a huge shout. Oh, he's getting scary. Okay. Um. Case toss. Keep stapling. <laughs> His attack is getting getting better. I, okay, well, we're gonna drink some. Wait, he doesn't drink coffee. He drinks bottled water. I should go buy some of that. Caroline. Caroline, his plant. Man, it's so convenient that we established all of that ahead of time. Jeez. Uh-oh, I'm fired. All right, items. Revive. I'm unfired. Use my case toss. You just keep stapling. There we go. Perfect. Sorry, Billy. Bunch of sandwiches. Promoted a level. The huge deals are over. R.I.P. Billy the Huge. Oh, I feel kind of bad about that. Can I go in his building now? Nope. There are no more deals. Not for any of us. I'm actually going to go here and buy some bottled water. Not 21 of them, but like... Oh, God. Controls. Thank you. And probably a few of those. I... Yeah. All right. Cool. I did a quest. Let's head on in. It's really strange that I'm, like, doing quests for them even as I'm trying to infiltrate to defeat them. I don't really... I don't really know. Oh, okay, for a minute I thought this was like that Legend of Zelda forest where it just goes in a circle and you can't ever get out. A dock chimpanzee. No. Yeah. Alright, at least I can defeat them. Man, and they're worth a lot of experience for what they are, too. Alright. Keep wandering through this nonsense. Do you ever get the thought that someone just placed a bunch of stuff at random in RPG Maker? Oh, it's a Doc Gorilla. Oh, they do a lot of damage, though. And they just fired Jerome. Jeez. He goes to Banana Avenue. Okay, I should probably not underestimate these guys. Yeah, I should really not underestimate the... What? Have I have never seen this before. Play number 404's position has been terminated. And play number 404 has been disassembled, shipped to the factory fields for sandwich processing, by ordered by the CEO. Well, all right. So there we are. I just saved. Did I save after delivering the package? I think I did, right? Nope. I have to go defeat Billy again. All right, guys. You just hold on a second. Through the magic of television, we won't lose any progress. All right, see, that was mostly painless, right? So we've taken care of Billy, and we're back in this horrible maze. And I'm gonna try to actually fight my way through these guys rather than try to avoid encounters. Um, these guys, chimpanzees seem pretty easy before, so I'm just gonna hope I hit them again. Gosh, they do so much damage though. Yeah, so those guys aren't too bad, but I have to bring my A game when I fight those gorillas. Um, I, I don't know. This whole naming scheme of enemies here seems a little bit racially insensitive, but I can't really explain how, so I'm just gonna not bother to talk about it. Alright, let's do it. Bring our A-game. Attack. More staples. Come on. Yeah, that paralysis is what we wanted. There we go. Yeah, see, they give more money, so at least the game knows they're a little bit harder. Let's use some sandwiches. You know, the one thing that dying reminded me is that people are sandwiches. Like, this, the meat in the sandwiches is people. And so I have been using people to restore my health this entire time. I don't know how I feel about that, but not very good. 
How did I one turn kill that guy before? I can't seem to do it anymore. Alright, there we go. Wander through this labyrinthian maze of random crap. Oh, this guy's got a bring an A game here. Let's drink some water. You can go to Banana Avenue, that's fine. You're going to staple down. It's so useful to stop enemies from attacking. Like, it's, I really don't have any need for any of the other skills, because it's so good. Alright, sandwich found. And here we go. There we go. Alright, general refund. Take out the pilot so we can load the troops in and head out. General Dollar, we've got a whole bunch of suits heading our way. You take off as soon as possible. Are you guys not helping? You're just going to let me do it? That's fair. All right, here we go. Hey, pilot. Oh, he's just, he's just named pilot. All right, um, let's drink some coffee. Get some skills back and let's staple. Yeah. All right. Tech. There we go. I just missed. I did all that wind up and I missed. I'm not paralyzed anymore. Attack. This game is so exciting combat wise. The best part of this game is by far the writing. I just mash A to win to get through these battles. Alright, there we go. Defeated the part the pilot. Alright, we're dangerously low on fuel. Just have to hope that there's enough for us to get to the food offices. Don't understand why we couldn't just refuel back at the post office. The pilot was there to refuel in the first place. The man was smoking near flammable water. I bet suits knew that we were coming, so they sent that man to sabotage our mission. I don't think so. There weren't any suits around, just workers. We couldn't risk it. Incoming missile barrage. Oh, the factories who we'll rise from the ashes of our forgotten homes the ceo will fall the leader this game is taking a strange turn jenner fund i think he's coming too general dollar can you walk someone give me a status report <laughs> it's a good thing we didn't have a full tank otherwise this thing would have gone up and smoked the minute we got hit about half our soldiers have been injured and only a few of those are in critical condition all the others are currently helping the wounded. We need to get moving quickly, otherwise we're going to be surrounded by suits. Right. But guy, we need you to scout ahead and try to keep the suits off us. The food district is to the east of here, and we sh oh, and there should be a loading dock where we can commandeer some trucks to get us to our destination. We'll work on getting the injured moving and catch up with you when you can. You know, that's really convenient that I just do everything. But fine. Whatever. All right. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to whine. I'm not going to be a, you know, a main character who doesn't have to, or who... What do you mean eating ass is illegal? Oh god, filthy Frank joke. Um. So, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, just gonna. I guess I'm going this way. <laughs> Here we go. Lock and load. Let's check around. Hey Abby, what's up? Let's get them terrorists. You're, you're in the, you're a dumpster. Okay. You can use this. <laughs> Machine. All right, and what's what we got here? Here's a secret. You the one they call the guy? I've heard rumors about you. Like you don't want to be the guy. They say you're the chosen one. You're here to change everything. It can't change. I can't let you change it. But I can't stop you. You're far too powerful. And handsome. Well, that's really nice of you. But I'll have to stop myself. It's the only way out. Bang. What? Well, that was rather miserable. All right, factory room. Thank goodness there's, oh, gold stapler. We'll get you one of those, buddy. You've been a loyal, a loyal friend and you're handy with that stapler. All right, there we go. Guy the guide. 
Good afternoon, night and midday. I am Guy, the world's most interesting and attractive tour guide. Welcome to the Suit City Factory Fields. This is factory number one of 3,276 identical other facilities that exclusively produce either bikes, sandwiches, or anything in between. Today we will learn a little bit about how these factories function in perfectly optimal performance. The beautiful workers here, and me, your dreamboat of a tour guide, now. Follow me and we can begin our lifelong learning adventure together. I don't really, I don't really wanna. In Suit City, we participate as a small unit in a far greater global economy. This means that there are thousands of cities just like the one with factory, or just like this one with factories just like ours. Each city is assigned with one of three PERMA products. We pump out those, one of these factories 24 seven. As I said earlier, Suit City main products are sandwiches and bikes. We produce up to 24,000 bikes or sandwiches per day in this facility alone. I gotta slow down and read the tour correctly. Oh man. <laughs> Many people often wonder, how do you get so gorgeous, guy? All I ever tell them is a bike a day, a nice thick succulent meaty sandwich in my mouth keeps me sexy and ready for anything. That's uncomfortable. We often get many questions about our workers. What are their origins? Are they treated fairly? Are they even human? The answer to these questions is a resounding no. Mostly because by law, I'm not allowed to disclose the fact that the workers are reprocessed, reanimated city defectors. I'm also not allowed to tell anyone that the meat in the sandwiches is made from the same meat as the workers. Moving on with the tour. You just told me, guy. Guy, you just, you just said. Oh, God. The last part of our tour is where we talk a little more detail about me and my unlimited beauty and perfection. If you want to get to know me better or hang out after the tour, then meet me out back the f behind the factory at 37 and I'll... He's suddenly distracted by his chiseled jawline and overall perfection. We've reached the end of our, fa our factory fields family fun friendly tour. If you want to meet your tour guide next time, then just ask for Dr. Love at the front desk. Dr. Love is staring into a mirror as his gaze were eternally fixed on the heavens themselves. His godly beauty is breathtaking. He doesn't have a face. Page from someone's journal. My finest creations were the meat workers. No need to pay them or worry about their safety. If they die, we just repurpose them. True genius. 387 cycle. Okay. Uh, okay. On intercom, crackles to life. You shouldn't be in the facility. The area is restricted to employees only. Attack them, you meatbags. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna stay over here, away from the factory workers. You know, I'm not gonna fight you, meat man. I'm not. I'm not gonna fight the meat workers. I'm gonna move on. I'm going. Just run as fast as I can. Go, 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 go. It's okay. I'm not gonna fight you. May have accidentally eaten a few of you, but I'm not gonna fight. Oh god, I'm not gonna fight you. Right, we're just gonna. Oh god. Okay, locked door. Locked door. Didn't I play a game like this once? Like Salted Meat Factory? Oh god. You felt something move. Okay, I guess I do have to fight this pile of bodies. I cannot flee. So let's at least take them down with us. Pile of bodies corrupts you. Yikes. Alright, we got paralysis, so maybe I can at least hold them until those status effects wear off. Never mind. Pile of bodies through a body. Oof. Corrupts you, missed. The music is very jaunty now. Alright. And just keep smashing away here. That was a nice critical. I should probably heal Jerome before he dies. Yeah, let's heal him. Attack. Items. Eat a horrible wish I didn't have to sandwich. Did, do I not have any more? No. Oh, there we go. I am so sorry. 
Oh gosh. You need to eat a sandwich. I wish there were other healing items. Alright. You're fired, pile of bodies. Promoted to level 12. Punch out learned. Uh, Promoted to level 11. Sweet. The security console is hooked up to cameras all around the factory. Back doors are open. You have no control here. It's a remote control. <laughs> okay. Um, let's get some coffee. Now let's get some bottled water. I'm not gonna drink that toilet wine. Um, where's the bottled water? There. Jerome is muted. That's probably really unfortunate. Tech, what is punch in? Oh, use all of your TP to perform a, a powerful attack. That's kind of cool. Let's try that out here. Oh, you still can do staple down. That's awesome. The room's no longer mute. Continue punching in. Continue stapling. All right, I've got full TP. Here we go, punch out. And um, just do your normal thing. It missed. I used all my TP and it missed. All right, well, we're not worrying about that attack anymore. Forget that. Just keep attacking. There we go. I have fired the remote control. I don't wanna... You're telling employees to never stop working. I really don't wanna see what... Do... I don't, that button looks really cool, but I don't really want to push it because if I kill all the meat workers, you make a tough decision. No, no, shit. I just wanted the option. I didn't want to actually do it. Oh no. I feel so terrible. Oh God, oh man, no. I don't want to do that. I don't. I, I just feel bad now. I think I need to end this episode here. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. All right, I'll pick this up again later. Maybe next time I will not commit as much genocide. That was such a bad decision. I'm so sorry. All right, bye, everybody.